Hi everyone, it's me. Uh, I'm here to show a bit of the progress I have been doing in the past few days. And uh, well, let's start with something that I've been, I've been talking about making for a very long time, which is the menu system for the, the keyboard. And yeah, it took me a while to finally crack how to how to address it because you know I'm I don't like writing extensive codes and like extensive checks and kind of stuff. I like to write some code that kind of resolves itself and it because I'm not so familiar with C and C++, it took me a while to get around how to do what I wanted to do, which I'm very used to doing in C sharp and other higher uh, level languages. But I finally cracked it and I finally coded it. So I'm going to show you and I apologize that I'm using my phone to record, but it's the easiest way for me to flip the phone around and move around and focus on the smaller things, which my, my big camera, um, for, because, because of the lens that I have, I can't really focus from very close. So this time, this way, it's going to be the easiest. So, uh, without delaying further, let's do this. Uh, so right here I have the keyboard and now as I always promised here this key evokes the menu amazing as you can see the selected option is shown highlighted the other options are free so anything that has this arrow means that you have options under it when you go in under those options, and you can see sub options. And for example, uh, I have some settings for the Yamaha chip. Like here's ask me, asking me if I have LFO enabled, and if so, what's the frequency? So uh, right now I'm gonna push the exit button and going back, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that too. So what the LFO does, and I've shown this, I hope. Uh, let me let me let me play a note. So that's a note how it is originally. So I'm gonna adjust the FMS settings, which is related to the FM sensitivity, which does modulation. Right now I have a setting of zero, so I'm setting to the maximum. You can see that the button goes for maximum. The same note now sounds like. Yes, because that's FM modulation over the over the sound the sound of that uh, that 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 frequency. So if I, I'm going to turn this one down, and now there is the AM modulation, which I have to do a few steps to get it done. First is to select the AM enable to one and then I have to do that in all the operators just to make sure they all work and now I go to the patch setting which says AMS and this I think is only three settings yes and now the note sounds like this So that LFO is the frequency in which these modulations happen. So if I if I go here now and I will select uh, the settings and set to a higher frequency. So instead of instead of the 602, I'm gonna set to like 953. So same note now sounds like this. Yeah, so that's what the AM, uh, and that's what the modulation does and how the, the LFO frequency works. So, yeah, like I was showing basically uh, the settings that I have, and you can see that the menus already perform their functions, like MIDI settings, I can decide if I have MIDI out, like when I'm, when I'm pressing keys. I send the MIDI out signal and that can be seen on this LED here. And if I if I go there and I uh, if I disable that, 
then it's it's no longer gonna send any any MIDI out, uh, as you can see. So uh, I have to think about what more options I can set, but I can send. I'm setting which MIDI out channel I'm sending, what's the range of the pitch band, and uh, assign a controller, which is the function that we use to assign like a like a button on the controller directly to one of these like uh, i already have some assigned but it's basically what it does um like pushing menu you go back to the the previous menu and i have system settings like you can change the instrument bank uh you can rebuild the, your bank based on the on the instrument files you can extract in instrument files from the bank uh create a bank from a vgm uh, use the decimal or the hexadecimal type of number display or, and split the instruments which mean we'll split like this can use like a bass and this can use a piano for example so if you if you want to do so I haven't got around to program any of these functions yet but it's just a matter of time okay very cool stuff I suppose and I have to now I have to undo all of the things that I did which is gonna be Quickly, quick, yeah, quickly accomplished by just resetting the system. Because I wanted to show another thing that I did, uh, which was mapping, mapping the modulation wheel on MIDI to the FMS setting. And for everyone who is uh, used to a synthesizer keyboard, this is just a MIDI controller, but you know, it employs synthesizer controls as you have your pitch band and by pitch band you have this this thing that doesn't come back a pitch band always comes back right uh, but you always have this thing that you can set in a position and just leave there called modulation and modulation basically affects affects the parameter that usually you can set it to like cut off or to stuff that alter the sound such as I shown on the FMS, which is what I did. I set FMS uh, sensitivity to be affected by the modulation here. So if I, um, let me try to get that scene. Not too much. So now I can do this. And I can have the, the, the feedback from the modulation coming directly, how much it's modulating. Which is really cool. Uh, for some instruments uh, such as like something like flute, uh, and it's going to take a while for me to get there, but something like a flute or a sax, or something probably yeah probably something like a sax is gonna get there uh, yeah let's say for example this uh, so I can do something like uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand If you're a skilled player you can do those things <laughs> like uh, you key in the note and like you have a melody that's going on and then as you as you as you key in something that makes sense and you, you have that that vibrato effect going on uh, as you select something anyway this video is already getting to almost 10 minutes and there is not uh, a lot more to show so let me just go uh, to it so um, as you as you saw when I access the menu um, when I access the menu I have the first two options a synthesizer and VGM player so the whole idea here is uh, from here I can switch to VGM player and gets me to the VGM player, which 
which I can now exit by pushing the exit button and it takes me back to the synthesizer. And I can select another song because I'm still I still haven't built the, the file browser. Uh, go here and select VGM player and then I have another song playing. When I'm tired of it, I just press this and I'm back. So uh, it's now more interactive because before the only way I could access the VGM player was by booting the system with this key press. It's kind of a, like a shortcut and I had like to hold this key and press reset and wait and do this every time I wanted to run that um, that VGM player and then every time I'm done with a song I have to reset the system, switch to another song and keep doing that. Now. Uh, at least there is a way to exit the VGM player, go back to the synthesizer and then do whatever you want to do there. Oh, now I want to listen to more music. You go back to the menu, select VGM player and you're playing VGMs. Well, pretty much that summarized the whole thing uh, that I've been doing. It's the, the biggest accomplishment for me definitely is the menu system uh, and the... Uh, uh, now I can I can work on the other functions such as the assign controller, which is gonna be key if for anyone using a, a digital workstation because you can uh, assign a controller to one of the functions on the on the FM uh, chip, and then you can make your music and you can assign your controller on the real time. You can tweak your controller. And then every time you play back the song, that recording is going to send back to the keyboard and you're going to always have your vibratos or whatever you want adjustment you do to the, to the, to the keyboard uh, to re replicate. And that's great for dubstep, like to make crazy sounds, uh, you know, stuff like you can control that your effect by modulating the total level of one of the operators. Uh, there, there are no limitations, you know, Any, there, you can do a lot of stuff with this. Uh, FM is very versatile and having a total MIDI control is great. And now I'll be able to allow people to customize that MIDI control through the menus. And uh, that makes me very happy, <laughs> feeling very accomplished right now. And I'm happy to be able to come here and share that with you. So... Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please help spread around the word. You know, now that I'm completely public, I'm sending, uh, trying to get tweets and trying to get subscriptions and people to 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 share the videos, so that whenever I'm ready to build uh, a plastic shell for it, and uh, that's gonna be much easier if I ha already have a community of supporters. And I kind of forgot to mention this. Um, you might have seen that this is now actually encased in the plastic uh, enclosure, and this is this is part of the work uh, that we that I've been doing, trying to develop the 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 shell for this. I already identified a few points which I need to fix this because one of them is that the key is gonna be here, so this needs to be a little longer. But then I have the limitation of 20 centimeters, which is the maximum size that I can I can put on this. And I think right now it's about 16, so I can only add about like four centimeters here. But it's okay, I mean, as long as... And my video was abruptly interrupted by a phone call. I apologize for that. I'm just wrapping up this uh, anyway. So these uh, th this thing is a good beginning you know at least now I have this thing more uh, stable you know I can move it around I can uh, I, it's easier for me to to transport this and I take it to my music room and hook it up to the keyboards without uh, feeling afraid of the two boards you know splitting or breaking or something so having this is great but anyway Again, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, sh please share and let's try to build the community for this and and be able to make this into an uh, actual product, you know, and uh, all, all the endless possibilities that can come after that. Thank you so much and until the next video. Bye-bye.